Hello and welcome to Tabletop Oddity. My name is Jay and today we're going to be talking about something a little bit unusual because it's Games Workshop have announced a Citadel paint um, concept uh, called Contrast and I just want to talk about it very briefly I hope uh, making this channel very paint heavy I guess at the moment but uh, before we talk about it if at the end like and subscribe all that kind of good stuff. Uh, now if you're actually interested in uh, more Games Workshop stuff like Warcry, Kill Team and whatever else I decide to talk about then I do recommend you check out my other channel called uh, Rage Crit and um, that's just where I'm going to probably post stuff today about Warcry and all that kind of jazz so do check that out there's a link in the description as always uh, but yeah let's talk about contrast so uh, FFG have partnered with Army Painter and they're making their own set of like uh, themed paints for Star Wars Legion I was like oh that's pretty cool should be good for a beginner you can just recommend that but as a man who strongly dislikes painting, this new con I say well, I say I was gonna say a new concept. Um as I was reading I um Andy from Black Jet Legacy was saying it's not really new, it's something we've had be done before, but they're just sort of making it an official uh, way of doing things. The new contrast paints from Games Workshop are essentially you're gonna prime your model in what looks to be like an off-white, and then you're gonna use these specifically formulated paints that look to be not quite a glaze, not quite a wash. Um, they're saying you can put it on in one thick coat, um, uh, memeing themselves there. Um, and then it's going to highlight and shade at the same time, right? Now, obviously we need to see this in hand before we can talk about how how that's gonna, like if it's gonna work. But I'm just excited about it because anything that makes painting quicker and easier with decent effects has me excited, <laughs> right? The only problem with this is like, I'm not really sure it would work for white stormtroopers. I don't know how you could even do it with white. I don't know if they ever will. Um, and uh, the droids, though I'm probably gonna be even lazier than that. I'm probably just gonna spray them like a off white, like yellowy cream, light cream kind of bone color and give it a Sarah sepia wash. So we'll have to wait and see if it's actually useful for me or in Legion, but we'll just talk, we'll just go through and have a look at a little look at it. Cause I, listen, I'm lazy. So. Uh, I'll just show you, well, I'll say I'll show you the video. We'll play the video. You prime it with this um, off-white kind of, you can tell it looks sort of grey, and then you just do what essentially is a coloured wash, right? Except I think it's a little bit thicker than a wash because the whole thing is that, um, you know, you're going to just put on one coat and it's supposed to highlight the, re uh, highlight the highlights and then the recesses, you know, darken them. Um, <clears throat> not sure if, if, like, I mean, it looks pretty decent that the, Coloured light models, sir, the blue and the uh, red one, look really, uh, when I say really contrasty, they look really like vibrant and possibly a little bit oversaturated to my mind. However, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm whatever, but um, you know, finally, one thick coat. And this is really the image that we need to look at. Um, <laughs> and this is pretty confusing, and I'm not really happy with the way they've done it, but because when they say technical, I'm pretty sure they just mean the base here, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, well, all right, well, why even bother with that? We're not even that bothered about the base in this. So essentially, instead of basing it and shading it with like Agrax uh, shade or uh, Null Noil or what have you, you are going to just do, you're going to prime it like white and then do the contrast. Now, the thing is, this, you, it, it, I don't want to say it's a lie, but yes, the base colors, for example, you could do, um, you could prime it black and then do your base color blue. However, could you not just spray it blue <laughs> at this point and then do a shade with a wash? Is that not the same, if not like easier? I'm not 100% sure about that, but you know, then they're talking about these. Um, I'm not sure, for example, if we're going to get metallic contrast paints. So I'm not really sure, like, I'm not really sure how effectively different it's going to be. But if you look at this image, uh, like, oh, well, I'm trying to look at the image, but you can see maybe here this bit looks highlighted this bit looks highlighted where they've not done that on this one now am i being crazy but can that paint achieve that effect where the actual very edges of it are highlighted i could possibly believe it on the hands um but it's all obviously then down to the thickness of the paint maybe what you do is when you want it to be highlighted in specific areas you you thin it down a little bit and then when you want it to be a full dark color you thicken it up like you just put it on um, classically on its natural uh, thickness but I'm like I'm not suspicious but I, I feel like this might be slightly disingenuous like I'd be if that paint can achieve that effect on space marines with just doing that method then I think we can all agree that's probably quite good 
Um, now the reason that this is it's not it's not new as we said you a lot of people they would maybe do like a zenithal highlight so you would uh, primary maybe gray and then white from the top or just primary white anyway and then do a wash colored washes so uh, you know you, I think you know it's not uncommon to do like a green couple of green washes for orcs because then you get on your highlights you get like a light green and then in the recesses you get your dark green um, but I think the difference and this is I, you know my theory looking at this is that the difference here is that it looks like the uh, the colors are a little bit more opaque um you're getting better coverage than a wash like that's that paint is looks more painty than a wash for example so if it fits in that nice balance between um paint and wash and then that could be a really cool idea um i would be uh interested to see how well the the paint's uh, thickness depends on the lid because basically games workshop lids sometimes will not often close properly i haven't even closed that one properly which is one that i use so it's just very hard to shut sometimes so if the thickness of the paint is important then i really need these lids to close properly and the, uh, the thickness of the paint to remain the same um and you can see there's you know lots of and lots of different colors there although i suspect some of those are repeating although there is this what is this color here i hadn't seen this one. Oh, they do have contrast white i wasn't convinced that they would do white um but now there's a white and black oh they're getting me interested for star wars legion um i really dislike painting stormtroopers if that works the way that that we've just seen that possibly work then you know i could be interested in black you know maybe you want to do death troopers like that yeah okay like it's got me interested right i like the fact that they're calling it ultramarines blue they're not even bothering with the uh whatever it is mccrag blue or whatever it is these days um yes okay now that i've seen those colors it's one of those things like we're gonna have to wait and see what it does um and it, it's not it's not a revolution this is not like an amazing we've never seen this product before um you know it is essentially you can prime your models white i think i have a really bad example that i was doing a test piece on basically i primed this white don't know how much well i showed up on camera and the legs i've done like a set of sepia wash or what have you uh the head i actually did paint purple just to see what it would look like um you know it's it's done before but this paint looks sort of more like it's a color it's actually going to color your model it's a th proper paint in that sense but the texture of it the thickness of it just going to lead itself to do a little bit more in the recesses and and that kind of stuff so it's interesting i just wanted to talk about it because i'm a i'm a lazy painter um and this kind of product is literally designed for me <laughs> like this is a product designed for people who don't want to paint um, and that really sums me up like to a T. So it's interesting now we've got uh, FFG releasing their own, well, with the Army Painter, their own um, branded paints that are going to be specifically coloured, like, named for their models and that kind of stuff. And then um, now you've got Games Workshop trying to make it a little bit easier overall. And uh, yeah, it should make life a little bit easier one way or another to force people. And I think that's always a good thing. And obviously, if you're into your hardcore painting, you're going to do your traditional method kind of thing. But um, for the lazies out there like myself, I think this is a pretty interesting change. So I realize this is a very much nothing kind of video, but um, I wanted to talk about it. It's Warhammer Fest. If you want to check out more stuff that I'm actually interested in at Warhammer Fest, then do check over at Rage Crit. That's where I'll be posting some videos today. Um, but probably a video, probably about Warcry, unless they suddenly do 40k at 9th edition, which they might do. So we'll wait and see. But yeah, don't uh, like, subscribe. Have a beautiful day. Thoughts on this? Are you are you like me? Do you not like painting? Is this actually vaguely interesting? Um, obviously, we're going to have to wait and see how this works on the tip. I, I need to get get it try it see how it works um as so it's not revolution it's more evolution of the prime white do a colored wash it's now like prime with this specific i don't know if you, if you have to use that specific base we'll have to wait and see whether that shade of gray or whatever they're using is really important um because it might be because it might be that white is then too contrasty so it might be that you need to follow that specific formula um and it was interesting that they had the top of it but yeah we'll, ha we'll have to get it in hand see if it works see if it's decent see if it does what it says and they've just evolved the thickness of the paint if you listen to that video they talk about the thickness of the paint and that sort of makes sense so do like and subscribe check out rage crit have a most beautiful day and goodbye